Hello everyone, I'm Ellis and welcome to GK Online, or rather Dragon Knight Online. Now this game has four different races and four different classes, and uh, I will mostly show you the warrior, so if you want to see another class, you should probably go to another video. But if you just want to get a basic overview of this game, well, continue watching. Anyways, I have three classes here that I've made just now. I have my warrior that I've been playing a little on, and I have a paladin and a shadow mage. Now there are actually four different classes in this game, but I could only create three characters, so uh, that's too bad. The last class is called the Elementalist, and is basically your normal kind of mage. Now there are also four races. You have the humans, the lichens, the feelingses, and the elves. Now both the feelingses and the elves are gender-locked as females, while the lichens I, I may be wrong in this statement, but I'm pretty sure that both the lichens and humans are gender-locked as males. Anyways, let's uh, jump into the action as my warrior, since he is the highest level one. My highest level character. And uh, yeah, bear with me guys. I think this is my first time ever kind of making a video out of a standard MMO. As you just like this a lot, jump in, but this should get better. So, the first thing that you'll probably notice with this MMO that might annoy you a lot, or just something that you won't care about at all, is the movement. Now, personally, coming from MMOs such as Rift, WoW, Star Steel Republic, that's basically what I've been playing, I found it really annoying with... Like, you can either click to move, or move with your arrow keys, but the such... The so annoying thing with moving with the arrow keys is this. Now, it's kind of hard to show you guys, but basically the camera doesn't follow the character, which means that you have to use your mouth all the time to turn around. And I, I know it doesn't seem like a big deal, but this frustrates me so much that <laughs> it's unbelievable. Anyways, you can also, if you like that kind of thing, you can also just click to move. Now this guy over here is a bolt goblin, and we're gonna try fight him. So the combat in this game is, I guess, pretty standard. It's anime style, so it looks kind of fancy, which is actually something I like. I, I, I like, I really like the look of the combat in this game, that's one of its huge assets I would say actually. As you can see it's pretty fancy, I guess that's what I like about it. Boom! You also have quite a lot of freedom with how you want to build your character. I'm gonna get more into that later, I'm just gonna kill a couple of bolt goblins. I wanna finish my quest, you know? No point in not finish my quests even though I'm making video, right guys? Right? No? Okay, that's great. <laughs> So, I, I guess while I fight, I can talk a little about the storm in this game. So it's a pretty standard thing, but the, the law in this game is basically that a evil dragon has returned and you have to defeat it. That's why we're called Dragon Knights, because we are gonna defeat a dragon. I, I can only guess that the dragon is the end boss in this game, but then again, I really have no idea. It's actually not that bad of a story, it's pretty short. If you go on the website you can go to a lore page and you can read it, but I don't know why I actually enjoyed reading it. It's a good read, even though it's about one page long or something. But uh, there's just something about kind of knowing. I, I know some people don't care about this at all, but... What the hell? Press Y to open a personal shop. Can I open personal shops? Okay, I, I, I'm getting sidetracked here, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, anyways, I know, I know a lot of people don't care about this, but I actually really like reading the lore of the games that I'm going to play. I think that's c quite fun, and it also... I don't know, it also makes me feel more... This sounds so nerdy, but it makes me feel more involved, or more... It's called inversed. Ah, I'm totally... I'm totally forgetting what to say, but it, but it makes me feel like I'm uh, more of a part of the game, and it makes me understand what I'm doing. That's basically what I was trying to say. <laughs> anyways... Just never mind my babbling. Let's go and kill some monitor bone breaker molar. Wait, is that even something that I have to kill or is it like a body part? I have no idea. So there's actually quite a lot of people in this game, at least as I can see. I've only been playing this for about two or three days. I had some trouble actually logging into the game, this was pretty weird. Uh, but anyways, there's quite a lot of people playing this and... Except for a few arguments, like in any MMO, I'd actually say that the player base is quite nice, quite helpful. Not actually what I would expect. I don't know why, but there's just something about free-to-play MMOs that often 
bring a lot of douchebags. And after what I've seen, this game actually has a really nice use base. Not sure about the maturity, but I would guess that it's rather mature. And uh, yeah, I, I basically just like it. So let's talk about some of the more interesting and perhaps kind of advanced parts of this game. Now, first of all, we have a page that I... This is so fail, but this is basically a rune page. Now, the fail thing about this thing is that I have no idea how to use it. <laughs> That's the problem. Now, when you jump into an MMO, you really need to take your time. It really takes some time to get used to it. Uh, but anyways, over here you have your inventory, your equipment. It's actually quite substantial. You can use quite a lot of equipment and that's something that I personally really love about games. I, d I don't like when you have like five different pieces that you can equip. It's much more awesome when you have a lot so you can just keep on working on your gear all the time. I know some people would probably prefer just getting gear fast and then killing stuff but, but I, I like the gear grind. Now for the other pages here you have your skill. Now this is something that is really awesome. As you can probably see I, I keep using it as an example, but I can only guess that most people have played or heard about or seen or just anything about World of Warcraft. And this is basically, if you think about the talent tree in World of Warcraft, it reminds you of this, but it's also a little different. The awesome thing about this game is that, as far as I've seen, you have no skills actually trained from a trainer, like in most other MMOs. Here, you actually just choose which skills that you want. Right now, I'm going into the more aggressive part of a warrior skill tree and as you can see I get skills called power slash that's actually something that I start with though but I've also uh, decided to learn stun smash which is my number one ability here you also get some passives of course and it's just really cool how you can actually you can you can fit it to your own um, play style I know this is actually also what they've done with the new talent trees in World of Warcraft but I, I just think it's a really smart thing, and yeah, it just gives you more freedom. Now, I, I, I know that there are some other pages there. Actually, these are just buffs. I, I <laughs> Sorry for all the failures, guys. There's also a special tab there, but since I'm a rather new player, I can't really say that much about it right now. But I can only guess that it gives you even more decisions when it comes to customiz customizing your character. Anyways, there's also something that I forgot on your character tab. Now, this is so another thing that's really cool. You can actually choose how you want to build your character, even stat-wise. So, as a warrior, specializing in two-handed weapons, you can also specialize in one-handed, a uh, one-handed weapon and a shield. But I've chosen to just go for the two-handed because I love chopping off heads with the big two-handed sword. So, anyways, you have the strength, you have strength, dexterity, constitution. Wait. Can't, what's that wrong? Ah, anyways, calm, intelligence and wisdom. Now, strength gives you more damage, dexterity, more dodge. It, it gives them other things too, but I'm just saying the really basic one. Const, con, con, whatever, gives more HP and HP regen, intelligence. Now, I'm actually not really sure about these old stats. Something that is too bad is that it doesn't really show you what it does, so it's something that you have to discover on your own. But I can only guess that it gives you more mana points and uh, wisdom. Yeah, yeah, wisdom, wisdom, wisdom is a great thing. It makes you wise. So, like this game's still in the closed beta, so these things can still be fixed. It can still be much easier. It can still be much better when it comes to moving around. All in all, it can be much better. But it's still a fun game. It's still something that I personally enjoy playing. I also know that it's quite focused on PvP. Once you get to level 20. You can actually start doing castle sieges, which basically just sounds awesome. Just sieging a castle with your guild must be a really awesome thing. I can only imagine it being kind of annoying if you don't like the movements in this game, because PvP is really reliant on movements. Small tip is just really holding in the right mouse button, which is rather normal when when they're walking around in MMOs anyways. I just get annoyed by the fact that my character won't move around. When I press A and D, it's really, really frustrating. So anyways, what else do we have here? Hmm. Of course your inventory, but that's something that I've already shown you and it's not really that interesting anyways. Is someone hitting me? No, I was only jumping. <laughs> Never mind. Of course your map. 
Now this is something that I could talk quite a lot about. At least in the first levels, this game is so linear. Of course it's an MMO, it's going to be linear. But still, just check out this. You start over here, if you can even see my mouse. You start over by this thing that looks like it has chains, then you go to the Isle of Bay Bolt, and all the way there's just quest givers giving you new quests to kill something and then go onward to the next place. Isle of Bolt, Bolt Hill, Northern Bolt Coast, Bolt Town, Bolt Dock, and that's basically what you do all the time, which gets kinda annoying, especially if you don't like linear games. Personally, I just love games that are not linear. And uh, I guess this is really my cup of tea. But the amazing thing, or at least pretty awesome thing about this game is that it actually stays kind of funny. It's, it stays funny and it stays entertaining just because of the fancy eye candy when it comes to fighting. It actually makes me like it even though it's so linear. Just look at this. Oh yeah. Boom. So one thing that I've actually heard is that it resembles Guild Wars 2. Now personally, I can't really say anything about it, simply because I haven't been playing Guild Wars 2. I know it's probably a shock for some of you, but I just never wanted to play it. It's something that happens after playing World of Warcraft for too long, you get basically sick of playing MMO games. Anyways, the, I, I, actually there was a quest back here, I'm babbling and being awful, but this is gonna be okay guys. So, I leveled up, and that means that I can use my skill points. I can't spec into any of these because I actually need 8 skill points for this. So I'm gonna choose spec into... actually not sure. Should I rather spec into stun smash or power slash? Well, you know what, I, I'm gonna spec into power slash simply because I think it will improve my overall DPS much more than a long cooldown spell will. Also it didn't really improve the stun, so that's okay. And here now we can check out the character thing. Here. Oh god. Attack and critical will increase as strength, accuracy and dodge will increase as dexterity, HP and HP recovery rate will increase as con, magical attack and magical critical critical will, oh, magical magic critical will increase as int, and MP and MP recovery rate will increase as wisdom. So that should tell you quite a lot about how the stats actually work in this game. I'm just going to continue specking into everything into strength because that's how I roll. I think it's awesome. Strength decision, awesome chat. Let's see. Let's take this awesome. I, I say awesome so much now. Let's take this amazing quest and go and do it. Actually, we're not going to do it. I'm going to show you some of the world because we haven't really looked around like that much yet. Now, this thing looks really, really special. I think we should run over there. Just see what it is. Southern Bolt Coast. That's great. I don't understand the personal shop thing though. This is pretty interesting. So as you can, as you've probably mentioned, I'm not really that. I, I don't really know that much about this game. I'm basically giving you the, my first opinion, or rather my first impression of the game. I haven't really seen all the sides of the game. I've only seen a really small one. Oh, yeah, and I'm stuck. <laughs> That's great. But I actually do believe, I know some people really don't like this game, and it probably doesn't even look that good for you guys. I mean graphic wise, but I actually, I actually have huge shows for this game. I think it can be quite fun, they just need to resolve or uh, fix some of the problems that it's having, like for example the camera thing. Ah, uh, it annoys me so much, I've been saying it for such a long time, but I just can't stand bad camera. It's so frustrating, because really it's everything you see, you know? When you play a game, you look at your character. When your tra character doesn't look around when you move to the side, you want to hit something with a gigantic sledge in the head. No? Okay, then it's only me. And we actually have another player. Let's go over to him. He's killing a fungus, isn't that awesome? But I'm just moving over here because I want to see this gigantic structure. Ooh, running through a forest. Now what else do we have? Of course you can have a guild as anything else. Instant messenger. Oh, it's basically just a friend list. A quest. Yeah, I've done quite a lot of quests. I'm quite proud of myself. And I also have some really high level one here it seems. I can only guess that there are several continents. Of course there are. I, I, I can probably check that on the map actually. Can I? No, I, I can't. 
That's too bad, really. That's another thing that I should add a more substantial world map would have been really awesome. But I, I just keep looking at this thing. And I have to know what it is. It looks badass. It looks like a dragon spire or a dragon tower. Something like that. Can I, can I even go up there? Probably can't. Holy shit. Wow. It looks so cool. Oh wait. Oh, I'm, I'm stuck. <laughs> Actually, that's another thing. Another minus about this game, which will probably be fixed before it's probably released. It's the fact that it's very clumsy, like the movement is clumsy, you will hit all of these invisible walls that you can- Oh god, like this. All of these invisible walls that you can't really see, and you have no idea where they are. You can't really climb up hills, which just makes it seem even more linear because it makes you feel like you're stuck within a set of walls. At least that's just what it does in my own. My own world, my own mind, it makes me feel like I'm stuck and I want to break free. Like, look at this, I should easily be able to jump up this hill, but I just keep getting stuck. Ah, it's frustrating. Anyways, it looks like I couldn't get up there. Perhaps I'll uh, be able to teleport later. That's actually the the way of moving around this this game. I, I know, I th I'm pretty sure that you have mounts. But uh, the quick travel version of traveling. In World of Warcraft you have a Hippogriff, in this game you actually have teleportation, which is pretty cool, I know. Wow, also has teleportation. <laughs> but uh, that's basically how you travel around this game, you just talk to a chick in the town. You also have these scrolls of town portal that you can use if you want to go back. I'm gonna show you guys if I can just... Where's my inventory? Oh, it was away, okay. Anyways, I have these adventurous town scroll. Should we have the work, you just click them. And boom, I'm in Bolt Town, entering channel 2. Great. So this is one of the towns. Pretty much the starting town. You get here around level 6. Now let's see, item merchant. Let's talk to you. Hello, Virgin. No, Virgin. <laughs> Virgin. Virgin. Oh, Christ. Warehouse manager. Cool. That's basically a bank. You have the mayor over there, Lannick. And what else do we have? Jint. Captain. But yeah, I was talking about that teleportation thingy earlier, and I'm going to show that to you guys. Now to teleport, we have to walk over to Elena. Elena? Elena! Might be the name. Or Elena. I have no idea. Anyways, let's talk to her and see what happens. Okay, teleport. Now where shall we teleport? We shall teleport to... Bolt Forest. Okay. This was probably not the way that I was supposed to teleport. Nah, I'm probably supposed to go away later. This should be okay, I'll just walk towards my quest. So anyways, I, I know this is still in the early levels, but I hope this showed you some of DK Online, or rather Dragon Knights Online. My personal opinion is that it can be a quite good game, it can be really good. I suggest all of you to actually try it out, because I enjoyed it. At least I have enjoyed it so far. But I also get the feeling that in the future, or rather if I continue playing it, I will get really sick of it. Because it's like once you get over the eye candy, there's not really that much to it. Of course, this can be, uh, what the hell, having some lag here. It's strange. But yes, I was saying, there doesn't really seem to be that much to it. It's not special, it's not really that original either. But it's still a good game, and I um, advise you to try it out. So. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this. I know I did it pretty clumsy, I'm sorry about that. This was my first MMO and uh, hopefully I'll get better in the future. So thanks for watching and goodbye.